Hi friends, today we're going to add a new ornament to our ornament toolkit. Ornaments are great because they enable us to personalize and emote a tune. They, they enhance the, the feel and flavor of a tune. So having another traditional ornament in our toolkit is great. The ornament we're adding today is the roll. I call it a compound ornament because it actually takes in effect two other ornaments to make this one. What you'll do is you'll use uh, a cut and a tap. Except that a cut is an entry to a note. And a tap is an entry to a note. And the, the roll, you actually start with the note and then cut and tap. So what it, it's going to do, instead of going break into the note, it is note, cut, note, tap, note. And so it's got that roll effect to it. For example, if I'm playing an F sharp on my D whistle, so, and if you want to practice that, you could practice your way up the scale. I'll start with the E, so I'm going to E, I'm going to cut, and then tap. Okay, you get the idea. So you can start off. So it is what you would do if you're playing the, the E, you would cut with the G. Uh, sometimes I find myself cutting with the B finger. Um, and then you would tap using the, the D finger. And so that would be a roll. The roll is played in the rhythm of the tune. So what you're doing is you're actually enhancing the, the, the feel of the speed of the tune. So if it's a, a jig or a reel and it's got that dancey feel and you're flowing in that, uh, the rhythm of that tune, then the roll is gonna be in the rhythm of the tune. Um, now you're gonna play a roll when there's space to play the role. Similar to cuts and taps, but you need a slightly larger space. Um, if, for example, you have a note that's held for one and a half beats, um, on a fast song, that's not long, but that's really long. Um, that's three normal eighth notes, so you've got a lot of time there. And if you have three of the same notes in a row, you'll, it's a perfect opportunity to add a role. Um, let me show you an example of that. So in the tune, the uh, Kesh jig, which is one that we need to learn, um, I've pulled it up the first setting for the Kesh jig from the session website. The standard setting goes, okay? And now, when you enter into a roll, it is good to articulate the start. Um, I've seen a lot of folks, and I enjoy tonguing that first note and then rolling. Because what you're doing is if that's held, like the first note of the Kesh jig is one and a half beats, one end, um, you're going to roll, and the roll is in the rhythm of the tune. You could, if you wanted, from the ornaments we knew before, you could just cut that. Or add a tap. But the roll provides us with more articulation on a longer held note. Okay, now that was pretty slow, but that's okay, because that's how you're gonna get used to it and it's gonna start feeling like it's just adding to the flow. So try and get your playing of the role into the flow of, of the tune. Uh, and we'll go through some more examples soon, but I wanted to introduce this to us. 
Don't stress if the style doesn't come naturally. That's perfectly okay. Don't stress if the speed doesn't come naturally. Play the role in a scale. Remember, it is note, cut, tap. And so it's note, cut, note, tap, note. So now that sounds really long, but you're if like in the Keshe, it's bum, ba, da, ba, bum, bum, ba, da, ba, bum. And then, so you've got to get that dancey feel to it. So you don't have a long time to get that roll in there, but you have to hit the note first. And so you want to be able to do that. And then it just feels like you're leading into the, to the rest of the tune well. So the roll is just going to be brilliant um, as an additional ornament for us. So play with that. There is more to say about a roll. Um, there are other ornaments to add, but remember, we're layering our skills. So what I'd like you to do is practice the roll, do roll scales, um, find a tune as you're going through your stack of tunes and you're playing, find one that's got three notes together or uh, might be held a beat and a half and, uh, and experiment with the roll. If you're having trouble with it, slow it down and go over it again and again until it becomes to get more comfortable, even if it's the scale. And then just keep working it. So that's the roll. I hope you enjoy that ornament. Until next time, this is Scott Shade. Happy low D whistling, my friends.